Rita Ora is set to perform at the closing ceremony of Prince Harry's 2023 Invictus Games in Dusseldorf, Germany on September 16. The sixth edition of the Invictus Games was founded by Harry in 2014 for wounded, injured and sick servicemen and women, both serving and veterans. On August 10, the Twitter page of Invictus Games announced that Rita would be performing at the closing ceremony of the highly anticipated tournament. The post also added that ticket holders can enjoy the R.I.P. Singers headlining show, which will be held at Merkerspiel Arena on Saturday at 8 p.m. Following this post, Rita released a statement, saying, I am incredibly proud to be part of the closing ceremony of the Invictus Games in Dusseldorf. For the unversed, Reed and Harry have been friends for years, and the singer also attended Harry's wedding with Meghan in 2018. Rita showed her crush on Harry in an interview with Entertainment Tonight back in 2019. She called him cool, fun, and princely, and disclosed that she and her friends had grown up wanting to hang out with him. It's in our culture, you know. It's a real thing. It's like Prince Harry's untouchable. In fact, she officially appeared with Harry at the upcoming Invictus Games, officially confirming the two stating. It seems that the Sussexes are about to have a new duchess. Meanwhile, Harry asserted that this will be the best games ever with Rita Ora in a video message about his upcoming Invictus Games. It seems that after the problems with Meg, Harry has found himself a new love and wants to introduce everyone through this event. The outlet reported that Harry will be in Dusseldorf for the entire tournament. However, Meghan is set to not participate in the tournament due to marital problems with Harry, as well as due to the arrival of the new lover, Rita Ora. Meghan will not be convenient to appear. The problems between Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are gaining momentum in the British media. Talk that they're going through a strong economic crisis. If they're going through a bad time in their marriage, even a possible divorce. In 2019, the Duke of Sussex hugged Rita Ora when the pair met at a concert to raise money for his African AIDS charity center. Therefore, there's a high possibility that Meghan has really been excluded from the official plan of this year's Invictus Games. This comes after news that Meghan will be banned from the Invictus Games this year. Allegedly, Netflix wanted only Harry to go, but of course, Meghan cannot abide by that and demanded to go too. She also insisted on being fully financed like she did last year, which is fair if she's wearing ugly clothes on Netflix's behalf. Meghan also wanted the opportunity to stand in front of all the veterans and speakers, as she did last year. However, currently, on the forums of veterans and Invictus contestants, thousands of comments are asking Meghan Markle to stop participating in the event. They don't want it to turn into the Meghan show. Another post is breaking down the costs of a wardrobe, and there's a post showing a video of Harry shunning real veterans who wanted a quick photo with him. It seems the only footage that Netflix got last year was Meghan being Meghan. She's not the heart of Invictus. While Invictus wasn't Harry's idea, he did a great job of promoting it and it grew. It would have been the only part of his legacy that meant anything. I couldn't understand why she had to give a speech or be involved last year. She's not a veteran, and she's never had anything to do with the event. Yet suddenly, she's front and center because Meghan had a voice stolen by his family so she demands to give a speech at every event.